Okay, you guys have asked a lot about those texture curls for medium to shorter length hair. So I was gonna show you, because my hair's longer and it's hard to, you know, relate all of that. So, Dakota doesn't have super <laughs> thick hair, so she's a great example, because a lot of the pictures you comment on are people with stupid thick hair. So it's creating that type of volume on someone who doesn't have super, super thick hair. So I'm gonna section her off. She's got nothing in her hair right now other than her leave-in products, but um, nothing volumizing. So I'm gonna prep her section back here with just, um, this is do-over. Oops. <laughs> this is do-over from Kevin Murphy. Um, it's a dry powder texture spray. So it's super lightweight, it's not real tacky, but you wanna put something on the hair so that it holds, especially if your hair isn't really thick, just so it has something to hold on to. And it smells good. It's delicious. Delicious. And then I'm using the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium Inch and a Quarter. Um, it is gets up to 100 and f or 450 degrees. It's adjustable, but I do keep it at the highest setting. Okay, so I'm taking a good chunk of hair. That's key to this. You don't wanna take a bunch of little ones because if your hair is thinner, you're not gonna get a ton of volume out of that. It like needs a thicker section to support the curl. So I'm probably gonna just do three back here. So I'm gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna roll it up. I'm gonna roll it back out, roll it back up, pull it out. But the key with shorter hair is that you pull it horizontal like this when you're unwinding and pull it straight out. Because then you get volume closer to the head. If you curl it straight down, then you get more of the curl that I have where it's flat against my head and my curls are more down here. So if you want more volume, when you're pulling it out, don't click it down, pull it out sideways and pull it straight out because then you get a little bit more volume. And every other section other than the top, you are going to rotate directions. So if you are looking at the curling iron in the mirror, um, one direction is that the, the uh, clamp this part will be facing the front. To change directions, the clamp faces the back and you curl forward. So if you're trying to figure out how to rotate, that's what you do. I'm gonna keep turning here so you guys can see. So this is just three sections on the bottom. Whoop. Pulling it out, pulling it out, pulling it horizontal, and pulling it straight out. When I'm done, I spritz it one more time. Move on to the next section. So this is her middle section. She does have tape in extensions, if you're seeing those. Those are nice <laughs> just to add for more fullness. Um, and you can do a lot of length with those too, but if you're just wanting a little bit extra and you want a permanent option, not just a halo, then that's another idea you can do. Okay, come around to this side so you can see. So this is her front piece. Another uh, thing to do is you wanna over direct. So when you have, when you're trying to create the most volume, you don't wanna pull it back and curl straight down. You wanna pull it forward, you wanna pull it out, you wanna over direct as much as possible. So I'm grabbing, again, a big section. This is probably three fingers width thick which on each person, your density is gonna be different, but I'm cl curling close to her head, rolling it out. I have end pieces hanging out, an uncomfortable amount. Pulling it horizontal, unwrapping it, and pulling the end straight. Okay, so she has a curl that starts all the way at the top. Her curl isn't starting down here. So when I run my fingers through it and I'm fluffing it back up, there's a lot of volume there. And like I said, I am going to rotate direction. So now I'm going towards her face. Did about two turns, lifting it horizontal, unwinding, and pulling the end straight. Same thing back here. And if curling the back is hard for you, honestly, just try to get a bend in it. If you're just trying to create volume back there, it's not necessarily how perfect the curl looks. Because if you notice, once you brush these out, it's not a really curly look, it's more of a wavy look. So don't overthink this part. If your hair is really thin and you're wanting it to feel thicker before you do this, um, I love the Kevin Murphy Plumping Wash and I like the Boosta line um, for styling from Unite. So when the hair is wet, you can prep it with 
uh, the Boosta Thickening Cream, which the way it works it, is it um, swells the cuticle of your hair. So it's not that your hair gets thicker, but it feels thicker and feels fuller. Um, and that's something you want to blow dry with. You don't want to just put it in and let it sit. It's definitely heat activated. And then the Boosta spray, you put, you can spray all over or just at the root, but it's a lightweight volumizing. Um, when you see a, a mousse, that's usually a little bit stronger than a spray. So I'm doing one more section. I'm gonna leave her top just cause she likes a lot of volume at the top. Prepping it. She's got two sections done. I'm actually gonna leave the front. That's not thick enough for me to do it. I'm gonna throw it in with the top section. So back here, I'm doing a big curl. I'm gonna over direct, no matter where I'm at on the head, not even just the front, I'm gonna over direct, pull it horizontal, unwrap, and pull the end straight. Same thing back here. Unwrap, straight. <laughs> Here, just hold it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, now I'm on the top section. I'm going to prep the hair. When you're up here, you do want to take a little bit smaller just because it'll stay more volumized. Underneath, you want to take thicker sections because it's almost supporting. So it's going to heat that volume up instead of falling flat. And on top, you want to take smaller sections. So her bang, I'm kind of going to cut up in the much smaller pieces. I'm over directing, this is coming in front of her face. And when you have this hot of an iron, you don't wanna leave it on too long. I, I put it at the highest setting because I'm pretty quick with it. If you're feeling a little uneasy, then maybe bump it down in settings. Just because finer hair is more fragile or blonde hair is more fragile. Okay, another component when you're, especially when you're on the top, is you wanna stay on base as much as possible. So the base is where your head is. So if I'm curling down, if I'm already starting here, this is flat. If I curl straight up and I land on the base of the head, don't touch your head, but hover over it, direct it forward, unwind it, and pull it down. Same with this back section especially with more bobs. Um, usually you have a little bit more layers back here. You're trying to create like this, this volumized look in the back. Then I always direct my curls forward, even back here. Maybe this back one goes back, but everything else goes forward. see back here going right on base pulling horizontal unwrapping and pulling it out okay and she's got two more sections in the front going to come towards her face and pull forward you do this last one in front so you can see Baboom. It's like magic. I know. Okay, so she's got a bang up here. Gonna over direct it towards her face. When you finish, you're like, oh my gosh, this is so curly. This is not waves. This is not what I wanted. We're not done yet. So you want to let them cool just a little bit, just to let the curl set. This is a dry shampoo, it's by Aquage. I love it because it's clear. You literally can't overuse it. So I think it's a good dry shampoo for someone who maybe hasn't used one or isn't as forgiving with how much they're using because you really can't overuse it. It is super, super lightweight. So this is where you kind of mess it up. You don't necessarily brush through these curls, but you just don't make them so perfect. 
This is a product you use close to the head and you can use all over. Something like a texture spray, you'd probably want to keep off your base just because it has a little bit of a stickiness to it and you don't want to feel the buildup after because I like to wash my hair like twice a week. So I really work this more towards the top and then I'll use this towards the bottom. This is Unite's Texturizer. It's stronger than the Aqua Dry Shampoo, so I wouldn't put it on her base, but I'm gonna use it through her ends to keep it really, really full looking. So if you have shorter hair, then you wanna direct this straight up to make your ends look fuller. If you have her length, I'm more just pushing everything forward and pulling it out, just to keep all that volume. Boom. Okay, so those are textured waves for shorter hair. That's curly and her turn. You can see, Woo. I love your blonde. <laughs> Super cute. Thanks, you can take credit for it. Yay. <laughs> she can take credit for mine, so it's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> she usually does like a deep part, which is like the Julian Huff look. Makes it even even better, even bigger. It's the Dakota look. We should just rename it. Yeah. Who's Julianne Huff? <laughs> I don't know her. All right. So if you have any questions, let me know. This is it.